What is bore sighting? Or more specifically in ASL, what is a bore sighted location? It's the ability for a defensive weapon to essentially pre-register a hex, thereby getting a bonus to hit modifier or infantry fire table modifier. The pertinent rule section is C6.4, and there is no, if you notice up here in the corner, there is no pertinent rules for starter kit. It does not exist in starter kit. So for those of you who play a starter kit, this will give you a little flavor of uh, bore sighting and how it works in uh, full ASL. Now, what are the advantages of bore sighting or a bore sighted location? Um, as I previously mentioned, it gives you a die roll modifier, thus giving the defensive player a step up on the attacking player's uh, offensive approach. But there are limitations to bore sighting, such as who can bore sight and what can bore sight. So as to who can bore sight is specific to the defender only. This, this definition is a little tricky to find. It's actually in the index of the full ASL rulebook under scenario attacker slash defender. You won't find it anywhere else. Um, and here, here's how it reads. The scenario defender is a side that sets up wholly or partially on board and does not have to capture terrain in order to fulfill its victory conditions while facing an opposing side that enters wholly from off board. That's the, that's the key right there. While facing an opposing side that enters wholly from off board. So if you are the defender and any attacking units set up on board, even one squad, you cannot use bore sighting for any of your weapons. And that makes sense because in order to bore sight, you need time. You need your units have to have time to basically pre-register their machine guns, their uh, vehicle main armament, anti-tank guns, artillery guns, whatever that may be on, on those hexes, on those locations, either by optically sighting down the bore or doing test shots uh, firing at the actual location to see where it's going to land in that pre-registered location. Now, what can bore sight? Not everything can bore sight. If you meet the requirements of the, being the scenario defender, as the definition uh, I just read, there are only six things that can bore sight. Not six things. Any 5 8 inch counter can bore sight, okay? So that's basically a gun. So any type of 5 8 inch gun, I just pulled out an anti-tank gun. Any main armament on a vehicle, uh, including secondary armament, armament, I believe. Double check uh, C6.4 for that. I think secondary armament, armament can bore side as well, as well as heavy mortars. So those guns, on a 5 8 inch counter can bore sight as long as you meet the definition of scenario defender. Furthermore, only three support weapons can bore sight. They are medium machine guns, heavy machine guns, and light mortars. No other support weapon can bore sight, only those three. So any 5 8 in 5 8 inch counter with a gun and secondary armament or any of these three half inch support weapon counter heavy medium heavy and mortars now the mechanics of bore sighting very very simple as long as you meet the definition you are able to attain a minus two die roll modifier either on two hit if it's a gun that requires a two hit or on an infantry fire table roll if it's a medium machine gun or a heavy machine gun. Not both. You can't get a minus two on the two hit and then a minus two on the infantry fire table result. You either get it on the two hit for a gun or minus two on the infantry fire table for a medium or heavy machine gun. Now there are some caveats. There are, are always caveats to uh, rules. Uh, in bore sighting, uh, a gun or any weapon that is bore sighted will lose its bore sighting if it does anything other than changing its covered arc. If it's moved, uh, if it's moved into an entrenchment, if the crew changes, you know, the crew abandons it and a different crew or 
squad grabs it and, and mans it. Um, the original crew has to be manning it to receive the bore sighted modifier. Now, the way the bore sighting works is it's obviously hidden from the uh, attacking player. So if you're playing on physical boards, like I'm showing here, you record the location, you record the gun, for example, let me just put a gun, I'll put a gun hidden here in this orchard. You would record gun E as being bore sighted to hex Y6, and you record that on a piece of paper. If you're playing a vassal, you could record it in a secret note, or you could place a acquisition counter on the board that's hip, and then when you use it, you reveal it to your opponent. Um, those are two ways to do it within within Vassal. But once it's revealed, it can still be used. Anything that moves into that hex will get that uh, minus two to hit or minus two infantry fire table die roll modifier. Now let's do a quick little example to show you how it works. Very easy. Let's say this 57L anti-tank gun is hidden in this orchard. German player has no idea where it is, and he's moving a tank from off board. And he comes down this road here. And enters this hex here. At this point, the anti-tank gun takes a shot. He may be uh, unconcealed, depending on the die roll of the, of the shot. Um, he's hip, but if you roll good enough, he could still remain concealed but let's say he takes a shot and he reveals to his opponent i have bore side of that hex he gets a minus two two hit die roll modifier on that attack not on the two kill only the two hit die roll modifier if infantry were to move into that hex and i do not have an infantry counter out at this moment let's pretend this is a squad and that gun is hidden and they move into that they would get a minus two to hit on that squad, or if there was a squad and a gun in that hex, heavy machine gun in that hex, and they took a shot, they would get a minus two on the infantry fire table die roll because that hex is bore sighted. That's it for bore sighting. It's a very simple, yet very powerful uh, mechanic that the uh, defender can use, the scenario defender as defined read that in the uh, index and make sure you understand it but it's a simple mechanic that the scenario defender can use to get uh, bonus die roll modifiers to their two hit or infantry fire table if any enemy unit moves into that bore sided hex and it's a hidden mechanic until it's actually used and fired i've used this to pretty good effect um, especially on uh, armor where you know armor is going to be moving through a choke point. Typically armor is going to avoid bypass unless they need to use it. it typically going to avoid moving directly through woods. So you can use boresight at choke points to take out armor fairly effectively. That's it for boresighting and boresighted locations. I'll see you in the next tactical tip.